हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस क्लास विद आर सेकेंड एक्ट दैट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी एक्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सो इंडिया रिशनेस इन बायोलॉजिकल रिसोर्सेज एंड इंडिजीनियस नॉलेज रिलेटिंग टू दैम इज वेल रिकोगनाइज The legislation aims at regulating ex, uh, access to the biological resources so as to ensure equitable sharing of benefits arising from their use. The Biological Diversity Bill was introduced in the Parliament in 2000 and was passed in 2002. Now let me tell you some features of this biodiversity legislation. So the main intent uh, of this legislation is to protect India's rich biodiversity and associated knowledge against their use by foreign individuals and organization without sharing the benefits arising of such use and check the bio privacy piracy the bill seeks to check bio piracy and protect the biological diversity and local growers through a three tier structure of central and state board and local committees The act provides for setting up of a national biodiversity authority that is NBA and state uh, biodiversity board SBB and biodiversity management committees in local bodies okay and the NBA will enjoy the power of civil court BMC BMC promote conservation sustainable use and documentation of biodiversity while NBA and SSB SBB are required to consult bmcs in decision relating to use of biological resources all foreign nationals or organizations require prior approval of nba for obtaining biological resources and associated knowledge for any use indian individual or entities requires approval of nba for transferring result of research with respect to any biological resources to foreign nationals or organization collaborative research pro projects and exchange of knowledge and resources are exempted provided that they are drawn as per the policy guideline of the central government however indian citizens entities local people including wades and hakims have free access to use biological resources within the country for their own use and medicinal purposes while granting approvals nba will impose terms and condition to secure equitable sharing of the benefits and before applying for any form of ipr that is intellectual property rights in outside in or outside india for an invention based on research on biological resources obtained from india prior approval of nba will be required the monetary benefits fees royalties as a result of approvals by nba will be deposited in the nbf that is national biodiversity fund okay and there also exist provisions for notifying items and area for exemption provided such inclusion does not violate uh, any other provisions this is to exempt normally traded commodities so as not to uh, adversely affect the trade okay so now let's go on to the next act that is the st that is schedule tribe and other traditional forest dwellers act of 2006 this is a quite big name the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers okay act 2006 or recognition of forest right 2006 okay so the forest right act 2006 provides a restitution of deprived forest right across india the act is provided provide the act is provide scope of integrating conservation and livelihood rights of the people okay Also this FRA that is Forest Right Act is a tool to empower and strengthen the local government lo local self governance to address the livelihood security of the people to address the issues of conservation and management of natural resources and conservation governance of India okay 
for the first time forest forest right act recognizes and secures community right in addition to their individual rights right to protect regenerate or conserve or manage any community forest resource which is the communities that have been traditionally protecting and conserving the conserving for sustainable use right to intellectual property and traditional knowledge related to biodiversity and cultural diversity right of displaced commu- uh, displaced communities and right over developmental activity now let me tell you some features so nodal agency for implementation is ministry of tribal affairs that is MOTA uh, this act is applicable for tribal and other traditional forest dwelling communities the act provides for recognition of forest rights of other traditional forest dweller provided they have for at least 3 generation prior to uh, 13 december 2015 primarily residing in and have dependent on forest for bona fide livelihood needs the maximum limit uh, of the recognizing rights on forest is 4 hectares national parks and sanctuaries have been including along with this of forest protected act uh protected forest for the recognition of right the act recognizes the right of ownership access to collect use and dispose of minor forest produced by tribal minor forest produced includes all all non timber forest produced of plant origin including bamboo brushwood stumps cane tussar cocoon honey wax lax leaves medicinal plant and herbs roots tubers tubers and the like okay the rights conferred under the act shall be heritable but not alienable or transferable as per the act the gram sabha has been designated as the com- competent authority for initiating the process of determining the nature and extent of individual or community forest right and the last act is NGT Act. You many of you have heard also, if you read the newspaper regularly, that is National Green Tribunal Act, Act of Parliament of India, which enables creation of NGT to handle the expeditious, expeditious disposal of the cases pertaining to the environmental issues. It was enacted under the India's constitutional provision of Article Twenty One. which assures the citizen of india the right of uh, right to a healthy environment the specialized architecture of the ngt will facilitate fast track resolution of environmental cases and provide a boost to the implementation of many sustainable development measures ngt is mandated to dispose the cases within the 6 month of their respective appeals now let us see the its origin So during the Rio de Janeiro summit of United States United Nations Conference on Environment and Development in June 1992 India vowed a participating state to provide judicial and administrative remedies for the victims of the pollutant and other environmental damage Okay now let's see who are the members So the sanctioned stand of the tribunal is currently 10 expert members and 10 judicial members Although the act allows for up to twenty, the chairman of the tribunal, who is the administrative head head of the tribunal, tribunal, also serves as a judicial member. Every bench of tribunal must consist of at least one expert member and one judicial member. The chairman of the tribunal is required to be a serving of serving or retired chief justice of high court or a judge of supreme court of India. Now let us study the. jurisdiction of the zac so the tribunal has original jurisdiction on matters of substantial questions relating to the environment that is a community as uh, at large is effective damage to public health at border le- uh, broader level and damage to environment due to la- due to specific activities such as pollution the term substantial is not clearly defined in the act Okay, uh, and now let's check out some notable orders. So, ban uh, on decade 
old the uh, diesel vehicle at Delhi NCR. Also, the second is NJT cleared three-day World Culture Festival, that is Art of Living, on the flood plains of the Yamuna in March, but imposed a fine of rupees five crores as an interim compensation. Okay. So this was all for this class. We will continue from here in the next class. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Goodbye.